According to the World Health Organization, every 20 seconds a person dies from it. One third of the world's population is infected with it, and it claims the lives of nearly two million people every year. Tuberculosis is among the most serious infections threatening mankind and remains a relentless killer in developing countries around the world. What was once the leading cause of death in the United States, tuberculosis has since fallen from America's medical radar, a troubling fact for some of this country's most notable physicians. Everybody had some plant and some relative, some neighbor who, who had the disease, and, and uh, it was a real genuine threat, particularly, if, I, if you please, in the months, years, that it, there was no drugs. Isolation was a defensive measure and an effective one, but not to be confused with active treatment. Now, uh, those events having been met and more or less resolved in our country, the level of public awareness and, and readiness to, to do what's necessary to bring an end to the scourge, an end to the scourge, uh, is not present, and that's really very important. In the early 1900s, public health campaigns were launched to prevent the spread of tuberculosis. The introduction of antibiotics in the mid-1900s helped to control the disease. Since then, the rate of infection has dwindled significantly among Americans. As a result, there was little effort to discover more effective drugs or vaccines for TB over the past 40 years. Meanwhile, underdeveloped societies around the world continue to fall prey to TB because of their lack of effective tools for managing the disease. Well, the reason it's important to care about tuberculosis in other countries is that an increasing proportion of the TB that occurs in the U.S. is coming from other countries. We have relatively open borders. The immigration status can be perfectly valid for someone coming from another country. They don't know that they're incubating TB, and then they come to the U.S. and develop active TB. Twenty years ago, the rate of TB among recent immigrants was in the 20 percent range. Now it's over 60 percent. The problems with lack of awareness of tuberculosis as a, as a serious disease have to do with the development of drug-resistant strains. And these can get to the point where you have strains that are virtually untreatable. In that case, we are no more protected in this country than, than people are anywhere around the world. While pharmaceutical companies now recognize the importance of developing new TB drugs, their R&D budgets are limited because the return on investment is so low. Yet another reminder that tuberculosis affects some of the poorest, most vulnerable people in the world. It's very easy to apply what life was like in Chicago in mid-20th century with what the rest of the world, the underdeveloped world, is experiencing today. It's almost the perfect analogy. The poverty, the, the poor nutrition, the large accumulations of people in inadequate housing, that's the plight we know throughout the world in countries less developed than our own. Additionally, tuberculosis is the leading infectious killer of people with HIV and AIDS. In fact, it can be fatal for anyone with a compromised immune system. So on one hand, you have the HIV virus, which is immunosuppressive, and on the other hand, you have the TB bacteria, which takes advantage of immunosuppression. The other thing that's not commonly thought about is that the TB infection also stimulates the host immune response, making the person more susceptible to HIV disease progression. So these are truly co-pathogens. Each makes the other infection worse. That's why the global co-infection rate in areas where there's a high prevalence of HIV and TB in the same community is such a disaster because once those two things run together, both problems get worse. While it may not be evident here in the U.S., tuberculosis remains a global health crisis that is in need of serious attention. But as TB continues to strengthen, so does the resolve of many to find a way to eradicate this usually curable disease. The mission of the Institute is to discover and to develop new tuberculosis drugs at lower cost and ones that are more effective against drug-resistant strains and for shortening the total duration of treatment. We feel that we have a number of compounds in different stages of discovery that could reach the clinical stage and then be used around the world to help alleviate this disease. Located on the University of Illinois campus with the College of Pharmacy, 
the Institute for Tuberculosis Research has created a unique industrial model for tuberculosis drug discovery in an academic setting by bringing all of the necessary scientific disciplines under one roof. Here, both chemists and biologists work together to find new ways of treating tuberculosis. So we have together under one roof, the microbiology, medicinal chemistry, natural products chemistry, drug metabolism, all these disciplines that are necessary for discovering and developing new drugs existing here in our institute within the College of Pharmacy. In addition, we have specialized resources for tuberculosis, such as a biosafety level three laboratory. And also, we don't have the constraints of the pharmaceutical industry with respect to intellectual property and the profit margin that they need to make. So we are free of this. Anything that we find that can help cure tuberculosis, we are free to develop it. In addition to spanning many medical disciplines, the diverse group of scientists and staff are also representative of the areas of the world most affected by tuberculosis. The level of dedication of the researchers in our institute is really unsurpassed. These people have the choice of working in other types of laboratories, but they make a conscious decision to come work in the Institute. For many of our researchers, students, postdoc, and faculty, the quest to find a low-cost cure for tuberculosis is a personal mission and also a great opportunity for them. Many of them come from developing countries, and this is a, a chance, a unique chance, to make a real difference for a disease that really has an impact back home. What would really help the Institute in accomplishing this mission is both continued financial support and also continued collaboration of other companies and academic institutes around the world that we work together with. It's going to be an ongoing battle and will require constant vigilance, constant upgrading of the quality of our medication, isolation of the active case from healthy people, a whole array of, we know how to do it. The real question is, is our society, broadly speaking, the world of humankind, can it address the thing on a mass basis? That's what we're trying to do now. To find out more about TB research at UIC's Institute for Tuberculosis Research, visit us at tuberculosisdrugresearch.org.